Well, I got my new clam, and today we're gonna show you how to set it up. And it does come with some instructions, but they're kind of limited, so we're gonna go into more detail. And we're also gonna give you some pointers that will help you uh, make this a long-lasting um, purchase. Um, so hang around, and let's see what we can figure out. Hey, welcome to Tigner Adventures. Uh, my name's David, and uh, like I said in the intro, we got our new clam, but I have to back up just a little bit because I know you've seen a clam in some of our previous videos. This is actually our second clam, and we had some issues, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Um, we're going to give some pointers to you at the end of this whole setup process to make sure that you don't run into those same issues and just kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Now. I bought this uh, with my own money. Clam is not paying me for this review or anything, and I always try to do the best honest review that I can. And I have to tell you that I am so impressed with the support that Clam gives you that I think it's a well worth um, product to purchase. And so that's why I wanted to do this little uh, video on here and kind of just show you some pointers and things. I'm gonna show you some issues that we had with the Clam. Um, uh, they covered it under warranty, uh, but, um, you know, we shouldn't have had those kinds of issues. And, and they gave us some pointers to make sure we don't have issues like that with this one. And so I just wanted to kind of bring that to everyone's attention. So the first thing is, is we're gonna unbox it. And when you open it up, they do have a little sheet that tells you um, what, uh, how to set this up. So let me get to that point. Let's go ahead and just pull that out of there. Now, it's kind of interesting because um, the issue, I've, I've just had issues with the shipping companies these days. This is how it got delivered to me. It was open already. Um, it's in a bag, so it's not a major deal, but man, they just, uh, they're just rough on equipment. Let me just tell you that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump this out. Oh, looks like we picked up a couple crickets. <laughs> so this weighs about 40 pounds when it's all packed up comes with a uh, nice carrying case here and it is uh, about 10 inches high and so it's basically 10 inches square all the way around so um, we put this in our bay that's all the way through we have to put it at just a little bit of an angle because it's eight feet wide and if you know your rigs typically they're eight feet wide so we just barely put it at a little bit of an angle it fits in our rig right by our smoker and so you know where there's a will, there's a way to get one of these into your rig. So anyway, it's got a really nice heavy duty carrying case here. I'm just gonna open this up and it's all tied up here nice. All right, the case is kind of scooted down there a little bit. And so this just comes off the end right here. And when you open this up to start with, it actually looks like it is upside down. because, or inside out I should say, because you can see the poles right here, okay? So they have it tied up nice. Um, they give you a bag of steaks right here. So let's open that up. Uh, these are just the uh, typical tent steaks that come with a regular tent. And they have some tie downs that I'll show you where these go in a little bit. But uh, they just have these plastic stakes. I actually like to use the nails. They go in a lot easier and a lot of the uh, terrain that we're in um, gets kind of rocky and these tend to break. Well, here's the instructions. So they give you this uh, sheet of instructions. I'm gonna show you basically one person can set this up in about Less than a minute, typically. Don't time me, because <laughs> I'm videoing, so I go a little slower. But uh, So they show you the basic way to actually do that, which is what I'm gonna show you. Um, however, uh, they leave out a few uh, little things, and that's what little pointers I wanted to give you. So anyway, so I have read this before, so I'm not gonna read it now, but it's a good idea to read the instructions before you start. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo these uh, straps. They've just gotta kinda, um, all together right here, 
kind of holding it together. You do not have to do this when you put it away. Uh, you do not have to wrap anything around it. I'll show you. Uh, you can put it back in the case open with no issue. Just kind of wrap it around, just set it in there. So, But they do come with these on there. Um, so I'm just going to set this to the side. If you look at this piece up here, this is actually um, the top of your tent. And so the way to actually set this up is you take this and we're just going to set it right onto the top of the tent and then it's just going to fold out. And the thing we want to determine is where our door is. And right above the door, it says clam um, on this ceiling portion. So we want to get it kind of rotated before we actually start setting it all up is the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to lift this up. And then we're just going to kind of let it fall out. and check where the door is. So again, right here is where it says clam. So we're gonna just rotate this around to this other side. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back out here. Now you can see there, it says clam. That is my doorway. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let's pull this around here like this. I'll come over to this side so you can see first, but I'm gonna stand on the bottom of this tent and inside here, I'm gonna reach through this little hole that's on this cover. This particular one has uh, wind guards all the way around it. So I'm going to reach through here and grab the little side piece inside here that is a little pull string basically. And I'm just going to hold the ceiling. I'm going to pull it up. So there's one. I'm going to just continue to go around the whole tent that same way. And you can see it gets pretty easy. The hardest part is you have this hole and you gotta kinda look in there to see where the little pull strap is. And you stick your fingers, a couple fingers there, hold this and pull it out. So it has this nice big strap right here. That kinda hangs out here and that's what we're pulling it all up with so anyway so we've got one more to do here all right and then that's done there and we have our door right here. Now, next thing I gotta do is, I'm a short guy, but I gotta go in and I gotta pop the ceiling up. So usually it's a matter of me kind of pushing it and work and sometimes jumping to get it to pop, but that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, we're just gonna push this up. You can see we got this little middle piece here. And I'm gonna, there we go. Now on the sides, on the, by the door, off to the side here, they have these uh, Velcro straps, straps that are holding this rod here. And this is just a standard uh, tent, one that pulls out, spring-loaded one pulls out. And we're gonna actually see it come down into here, along the bottom of the door right here, there is a little pouch right here and we're gonna actually take this and we're gonna put it into that and we're just gonna kind of bend the fiberglass pole a little bit stick it in there and then they've got little velcros here on the side that you can do up and we're gonna do the same thing over here Be 
This just gives our door its stability. So I'll go in there. And the door's all there. And we have this uh, nice screen room, which, you know, if you uh, wanted to, you could just sleep in here because of the sides are on here and everything. And we'll go in a little bit more detail about those slides. But we do have a very nice um, double zipper screen thing here. So you can unzip it from the top or the bottom. All right, so I didn't time that, but uh, it went up pretty quick. And just as a one person, it does very well. So I do want to point out a few extra things that they really don't go into much detail uh, within the instruction sheet itself. Um, there is a flap down here that goes all the way around the tent. And that way, when the water comes down, it doesn't go inside. So that's kind of nice. But if you lift this flap up, you'll see this nice heavy duty tent uh, thing right here and that's where you can put your nails to or your the tent stakes they give you we're in grass right now so those plastic ones will work fine but they fit through there and they're they're like this wide right uh, the competitors that have the same kind of thing for cheaper their their tabs are really small there's hardly anything to it this this clam is built so heavy duty it's amazing so if you clam that or stake that down all the way around there's one on every uh, corner. Then this thing, we've had this in 30, 40 mile an hour winds and it still doesn't go anywhere, okay? So that works out really well. Now, the, uh, on the flaps here for each side, these are wind panels or sun panels, whatever you might wanna call them, uh, but they have this little Velcro piece on them and the zipper. So you can just unzip that and then you can roll these up out of the way. This is the door. So the door one, we can do, we could roll it all the way up here and, and tie it up, or we can just open it in the center and just pull it out and just let it gape open kind of thing. But here on this side, this is the rest of the sides where they don't have a door. They do have these windows openings and you can roll these up and, and just uh, tie it. They got little ties up here so you can tie them. Okay, so that's really nice. Sometimes I just take this and I'll just open it and I'll just Velcro there and there just so there is some opening here. Uh, so that works out really well too, whichever way you wanna go. Now this, this model is called the Pavilion and it's their top of the line one, okay? Um, so it comes with these tabs here and it's all Velcroed on there. And the sun, uh, sun and wind guards are included for every side. They do have another version down that is a little bit cheaper that doesn't have this part of it, but uh, you know, then you don't have any wind panels. Uh, some of them come with extra panels and I'll put some links in our description below that'll show you on Amazon, that's where we got this, where you know the different styles there are, you know, so you can kind of look through them and decide. But, um, if you don't have the pavilion, then it doesn't have this um, that are permanent. It will come with, it'll either come with some ones that just Velcro, have some three Velcros on each side where you just stick them on there quickly, or you can buy them separately and, and then be able to attach them. And if you look here, uh, we met some people up at Smoky Mountain National Park. They had one of these, and this is how theirs is set up. They had those little spots where you know they would just pull their panels on and off as they needed to but on this one these are all zipped in here i really like that because they don't go anywhere and it's very rainproof and you can roll all this up it just pulls out of here so if i roll all this up here it's got ties up here and then you've got a really nice screened room you know uh, so that works out really nice so and then when you're not doing it, you just drop them back down and zip them. So when I was trying to set it up, I was looking through this hole here, trying to find this little pole thing. And that's, you know, that's what I'm trying to get, stick my finger in here and get around here and pull that out. So it's kind of a, you know, there's no way around it. <laughs> it's just, it, they pop out really easy. So there's no way to keep it out there all the time. But uh, that's all I'm doing is just reaching in there. And sometimes I'll just look through that hole, see where it's at, and then reach in and grab it and pull it out. So that's just one little pointer for you. So it does have these ties up here. Now, 
I've used these, but, um, and that gives it a lot more stability so it doesn't collapse as easy and everything. But the whole purpose of this is that when the wind is blowing hard is for it to actually collapse and it falls down. So um, if you start tying it up too tight, then it makes it really rigid and puts a lot of stress. Um, I've, I've had these on here and on our last one, we had one of these pull out uh, because the wind was so strong just pushing against it and it wasn't letting it collapse. So it's up to you how much you use this or where you're at and how you want to do it. Um, I've also seen people take and put straps on these, you know, so that it won't let it pop in. But the whole purpose of this particular tent is that it will collapse in and, and uh, you know, and collapse and not ruin it. So that's, uh, you know, the purpose of it and that's why it's set up that way. But uh, you can make it so that it will not do it at all. And that's, that probably works for most times, okay? But uh, uh, there's a reason why that's done that way. So, all right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and undo this strap, this uh, center one. And this is where, you know, you could roll this up and there's a little tab here. I can just uh, tie these up, right? So it's, uh, you know, gapes open like that. And then I just have the screen there. Um, and then I can also undo the screen. And if you look on the bottom of this door right here, you can see that each, each side of the door has one of these um, tabs on here that you can put a stake in. So you could stake down one side of this or you just kind of stand on it as you unzip it. But we're gonna go ahead and go inside. Um, if you have a floor, then it actually goes in here and it Velcros all the way around the actual tent. And then there's also little tabs in the corners here. It's just a piece of material with a little ring in there. And the idea is, is that you can connect the floor to that also, all right? So it kind of lays in here, covers the whole thing, and then it's just completely enclosed. So that's why you could just use this as a regular tent, lay sleeping bags out if you want, whatever you want to do. But the nice thing is if you don't have a floor is you can actually pick this up and set it over a picnic table. Now, when I was setting it up, I was saying, make sure you know where the door is because if it's only you doing it, it's very difficult to move it after you get it set up. So that's why I said, get, make sure where the door is. But if you have two or three people, well, you need at least three people, then it's not that big a deal just to lift this up and rotate it around or pick it up and put it over a um, picnic table or whatever you want to do there. So um, let's see, we got to pop, pop these out. I did not walk around and pop all these out, but I'll tell you, if you go outside and you start staking it down and you pull each one out, um, then this, this is staked down. It's not going anywhere once that's done. So, But you just need to, those little round things I was showing you, when I first got this, I didn't, I didn't even see those big, you know, stake things that you could put a nail through. All I seen was those little dinky, you know, circles, and so that's why I put my nails through. I don't know what I was thinking. It it held up pretty good until the wind got to about 30 miles an hour, and I left all the flaps open, and then it ended up being like an umbrella, or I left the door open or something, and it just ripped all of those off all the way around. So. It, that's not what they're used for. That's why I wanted to uh, point that out to you that you really need to stake it down with those heavy duty um, areas because we've had this in 40 mile an hour winds and it's held up with no issue with those. So, um, and then, so that's basically it for the tent. I did want to point out a couple features that if you look at uh, competitors, you won't see. Um, this, uh, normally if you look at a competitor, what you see on these is just this, all right? These guys have gone the extra mile and they actually have um, stuff, you know, they have covers here on every one of these uh, points that could point something and or poke something and ruin it. Um, also on the roof, if the roof happens to pop down, which it's intended to do, you know, if it gets too windy, it's intended to collapse so that can all pop down. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's guarded so that you're not gouging the material or putting holes in things like that, okay? And then um, what I usually do is we have all our chairs in here, fireplace and everything. I have some wool blankets that I use for covering up our bikes in the uh, car when we're, we're moving around. And I'll take those out and I'll lay them on the backs of the chairs and stuff so that if the tent does fold down onto it when we're not here, then there's no sharp places that's actually doing it. 
uh, rubbing the stuff. Well, now that that's all set up, I've given you some pointers on some of the other things that uh, you know you need to know about. Um, I thought that it was important to also tell you about the trouble that we had with our last one and the re reason that it ultimately got replaced. Um, so if you look here on the bottom where those poles come down to the ground, um, they come into this one spot right here that really isn't too, it's got, it's pretty heavy, but it's not reinforced enough for being up all the time. And, and so what it does is it just kind of slides back and forth on the ground and then it ends up wearing a hole in the uh, support and the little, uh, you know, nylon um, tube actually pops through there and then that causes the tent to collapse. So that was one issue we were having. As a preventative measure, you may want to put either some um, Gorilla Tape right here that it's going to be rubbing on, or another thing would be to uh, put like some carpet squares under it or something that's going to keep this from rubbing around on that hard surface. Uh, the other issue, issue here is if you look at the ceiling, um, it looks like the um, color of the material is separating a little bit. Now our, our tent is gray here, and so I don't know if um, they all do this or not, but the gray kind of started doing this. And in talking to uh, support at Clam, they told me a couple different things. They said, first of all, these are not intended to be um, set up and for you know the whole year sitting out in the sun like we had it in, in uh, Yuma. In Yuma, we set it up in November. We didn't take it back down until April. So the sun starts deteriorating anything um, in that situation and so they said it wasn't intended for that and if that's how you want to use it then there's a couple precautions that they're um, kind of pointing at that we should do one they do have this cover if you look here I've pulled this up on Amazon uh, this is a cover that goes over the top it's actually kind of like a rain fly but it's a sun guard also and it will help protect the top of the tent the only place we have this issue is in the very top of the fabric uh, the second thing is to use a UV spray um, on the tent um, quite a bit to help um, protect the material from the sun. So these are two things that were kind of um, something that I think that everybody just needs to know about when taking care of your investment. I mean, these things do cost a little bit and it's well made and it will hold up, but you just need to know what the limitations are. And I think the biggest one is they're not meant to basically live in you know full time and um, and so they're you know you're going to be putting them up and down up and down up and down in our case we didn't so that could have been some of the um, issue or in this case it for sure was I mean it's the hot Yuma sun so that's what you get with uh, direct sunlight all the time so anyway just wanted to kind of point those things out so before I show you how to actually put it down and everything, I just want to show you the how the design of it and how it works when you're in the high wind and everything. So when the wind's blowing, then what it will do is it will blow against this panel. And it takes quite a bit of wind, but eventually this panel will just push in. And that's what it does, okay? And then, you know, sometimes what will happen is the wind's coming from multiple directions, so then it'll push the other panel in. And you'll see that it starts doing this. Um, and then what happens is finally the other panel will go down. And a lot of times you'll come out and this is what you'll see. It'll be pushing down and it can eventually all, you know, just flatten out if it needs to. But then the roof will pop in and when that happens, then all of it just kind of falls down to the ground. All right. Now, if you know you're gonna get a big windstorm and everything, you can just do all that, just pop it all down, and then just put a strap across it so it doesn't flap around too much and just leave it if you want. Um, but, you know, when you're in a park and there's lots of trailers around or trees and things, then the idea of it collapsing, it doesn't collapse as much because there's not as strong as wind. If you got a direct wind on it, like you're out in the middle of boondocking somewhere, then that's when it starts all falling apart and, and eventually collapses down. So in that situation, if you're going to leave for the day, then it may be a good idea just to collapse the tent and just leave it collapsed so that you don't have to worry about it while you're gone. Everything's been great. We've had a great stay. Now it's time to uh, take the tent down. First thing you want to do is you want to undo these uh, door uh, supports. So we're just going to unvelcro those. And then they actually just pull out of this bottom piece right here. 
Now it does have a little rubber foot right here. So you wanna make sure that came out with it. And just like any tent, it's got the little spring to it. We're gonna put it up here and anchor it back in place so that it's not just flopping around and end up poking a hole into something. So we do that on both sides. Now, I'm telling you this from experience <laughs> to make sure you do this before you pop the whole tent down because it's a little bit of a pain to deal with this after it's down. So always do this first. And then that way you're all set and don't have to go back and try to fix something after the fact. Okay, so those, that's the first thing you do. Then we're gonna go outside. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and just zip up the door. And this is just so that it keeps its, kind of holds its stability and things that when we go to set it up later, uh, it'll make it a little bit easier, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put down all the panels and just, I'm just storing it this way because I don't want it to be all folded up and, and then when it gets, uh, you know, when you take it out the next time, it's just all weird or something's bent wrong or, you know, the zipper's not straight anymore or something like that. So that's why I do all that. But once that's done, we are ready to collapse it. Now, you don't even have to undo the stakes in the bottom of the tent yet. You can still leave those in there. In our case, we didn't put any in. But uh, all you do is you just start going around and uh, collapsing the tent down. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. And just like when the wind blows, we're just going to collapse it down. And then if you feel around here, you can feel the bar for the roof. You can actually just kind of push down on it. And it pops back down again. So, and then at that point, all you're doing is you're just gonna grab each one of the sides here and just start walking up like this. And so I'm just over there and just kind of drop it there. You are pretty much ready. Pull this all in here. And you're down. We're just gonna grab our case for it and of course we didn't have any stakes so I didn't put the stakes in uh, but if you did have stakes then you'd have to pull all those before you could lay it all out the way I just did uh, but I'm just going to put all this stuff away I'm going to roll this all together now if you remember when I was taking it out it was kind of all rolled up together so all we're doing is the same thing. And that's where we could put those cords around there again to hold it. Or we can just take it and what we're gonna do is put this in here and just pull up the sides around the tent. Start the zipper up there. So again, one person can do this pretty easy. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna just take this and pull this out here. And you can see it's gotta go that way some. So we just have to work it around and just push this down. And then this comes over the end. Like that. It's very snug. You just kind of zip this up. And then we can take our stakes and things and just put that all back in. Just like that. And it's all ready to go. And we just haul it off. Just that simple. Well, okay, that 
finishes us putting that up and uh, taking it down. Hopefully that uh, gives you some pointers on making it a little bit easier for you. Um, again, I have to tell you that uh, the support that I got from Clam was outstanding. And uh, that's why I think they're by far the best. Um, I've had friends that have bought you know, cheaper models of something from somewhere else and basically have no one to talk to. Um, they haven't been able to get anything uh, repaired. Uh, so um, that's why I'm saying these guys, they are quick to respond to my emails and they worked with me to get the problem resolved and ultimately they covered us under warranty. So anyway, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Thanks for coming along. Remember, what we showed you today is in our description below. We do have an Amazon store or an affiliate link that uh, if you click on that, anything that you buy during that session, we do get credit for that. So that's a great way to uh, support our channel. And, uh, and so we do, we do appreciate all the support. We appreciate all those that are subscribed to our channel. But if you're not subscribed, please uh, subscribe and do that thumbs up. We appreciate that. And hopefully this has been a lot of help for you. So with that said, we'll just say that we'll see you down the road somewhere. And uh, maybe you'll be on our next video. So take care.